some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video... I've got video of a new frauditor called Edward Schultz. This is his first attempt at frauditing, but unfortunately for him, it doesn't go so well, and he gets a shiny new pair of bracelets. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So I'm going to try and get some video of the police department. You can tell that our little impound yard here is top-notch, you know. But uh, these are some of the vehicles that they use. Let's see inside. Let's see inside these vehicles. Let's see what he's got in there. Anything illegal? Tent looks a little dark. Ugh. Yeah, you can tell this guy's a real genius already. A little longer than a few minutes later. Well, at least we know where we're at right now. We're in Tompkinsville, Kentucky. Sorry for you folks out there, but you're going to have to deal with this issue. So anyway, let's skip ahead because it's a lot of boring content of him just walking around doing nothing. You got a belt. I'm just an independent journalist gathering content for a story. Sure. You have a cell phone? I do not. Not with me. And this is it right here. Is that a cell phone? It's both. It capable of taking pictures? A video, yes. Now you'll have to leave it out here. No, I don't. Yes, you do. You no. Can't uh, you're, what's here. your name and badge number? Uh, you can leave or you can leave your cell phone out here. That's it's incorrect. It's your choice. This is protected by the First Amendment. Call the city. Please call the city. Sir, don't put your hands on the me. city. I'm not putting my hands on okay. you. You tell me what's going on. Okay, I'm doing a First Amendment protected act, which is I'm an independent journalist gathering content for a story. This camera proves everything I do. Therefore, I'm allowed to go into any publicly accessible place with this camera and video. Deny it all you want. Go ahead and call the police. Go ahead. I dare call you. PD. Call PD. Go ahead. The judge sets the rules. I don't care about your judge. Story. Oh, so you walk in a courthouse with a camera and say you don't give a damn what the judge says. This is not going to end well for you, my friend. Because the judge has authority over the whole courthouse and not just the courtroom which is what a lot of you frauditors keep on claiming and you're about to find that out the hard way supreme court says i have the right to be here i have the right to be here you're gonna learn something today sir citation citation needed citation fucking needed appreciate that okay I, I hope you do because you swore an oath to uphold the Constitution yes sir and what is the first first Constitution uh, that would be the Articles of Confederation used by the Continental Congress from 1781 to 1789 but I do believe you meant the First Amendment what is it I'm not going to educate you no, I'm, I know what it is. Right. Well, so, then you can see the signs out here. It doesn't matter what your signs say. Okay. Okay. We shall both soon see. You're going to learn a very valuable that. lesson today. Thank you. I need that. Why don't you step back through that? I'm not going to move anywhere. If you touch me, that's assault. Sure. I will wait what for the police. You, you 
I have done nothing we wrong. We keep you from coming in here. That I have. No, I'm not moving past You've this got point. A camera on you, which is not mm -hmm. allowed in. Oh yes, building. it is. So you step behind. No, the sir. Right there. You call the police. You. I want your supervisor. What's your name and badge number, sir? No, I'm not going to get any. Name and badge number. Give you nothing. Yes, you do. Okay. It's in your policy. No, no, it is. Yes, not. it is. You are not under arrest. It doesn't so matter. We're not giving you you, any you are my servant. Well, give me a goddamn raise then. <laughs> Oh, that would be such a legendary line right there in frauding history. I, calm down, I, I can't. Calm down. I hate dealing you with calm down. I'm fine. You guys raise your voice, I raise mine. I'm not okay, raising you stay my voice. You guys here. did. I'm not raising my voice. Yes, sir. Let's do this. Let's. Okay. What were you? I want you guys to learn a very valuable lesson today. I want you to learn. We, we're going to teach you one too. If that's well, okay. okay. We'll see. We'll see who okay. learns a lesson today. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and grab my key. You leave everything land right where you're at. Okay. It's illegal to hold my property against my will. You know that, right? I will be filing formal sir, complaints. Would you please turn around and no. walk behind that and read them signs? No. You think you don't? I don't to... care about those signs. I care about my First Amendment, Second Amendment, Fourth Amendment, Fifth okay. Amendment rights. That's fine. That's fine. Good. We'll see. I did tell you guys and uh, let you guys know that I am an independent journalist gathering content for a story. Do you guys not watch YouTube? You guys are going to be the laughing stock of this town. No, that's going to be you. I'm already that. I'm already that. Okay, good. Yes, we do. Okay, well, he's not going to video in here. So, thank you. Who's you talking to you? Yeah, they're on their way. And they will leave with me being able to go through here. <laughs> hey, we've got a gentleman over here. That is demanding that he can come in and take photographs of anything he wants to. Demanding, you hear that, you guys? Demanding. And, uh, you guys are live. He, he's uh, kind of making a joke out of it. No, it is. It's my First Amendment right. You guys are not going to trample my rights. Period. And uh, it is your policy. It is your policy to identify yourself to the okay, public. That'll be fine. The public is your boss. That's fine. You guys, somewhere along the lines, have forgotten this. Where are you from? It doesn't matter. I'm not going to talk about my day. Do you know who you are? It doesn't matter. If you refuse to identify yourself to a police officer, you've committed. This is not a stop in ID state, sir. You don't think I know my rules? I know my I know my constitution like the back of my hand. And you guys are sorely mistaken. I'll tell you I'll tell you one thing. You make it a big deal deal for nothing. Me? Yeah. I am? I you mean, guys you, really, you guys record everybody that comes really, in and out. But we all of a sudden I'm impressed. Thank you. I'm here really we go. I'm Number forty two. We'll see how impressed we are here in a few minutes. Here we go. Oh yeah. This is going to be fun. Hey, come back in here. Don't talk without me. He's opening the door. Fair enough. How are you doing today? Name and badge number. I don't have to give it to you. Yes, you do. It's in your policy. Call your supervisor. I, I, I want. I want a, a super. I want your supervisor. My supervisor is in the military right now. So. I don't care. I want whoever's above you in here I right now. want you to put the phone down. No, it's protected by my first constitutional okay, right. It's protected by my first constitutional right not to give you my name or badge. No. Yes. You're a, you're a public servant. It don't matter. It does. I have rights too. We're gonna find out today. Yes, we are. Oh yeah. Yeah. Are you that freaking stupid that you think that this cop doesn't have any rights because he's a cop? Is that what you're inferring here? Oh my god, you're stupid, aren't you? So we're at a standstill. I need you to leave. No. Yes. No. If you don't leave, we're going to be charged with trespassing. Charge me. Okay. The chance behind your back. Yes, sir. 
This guy brings frauding to a whole new level of stupid. I think he might have just brought every stupid argument in the frauding handbook and brought it in here and failed miserably to get his point across.